So in my last video, I mentioned that God's presence left the temple prior to its destruction when the Romans came in and how Josephus mentions in his book of Jewish Wars, I'll read the quote again, that a voice was heard um, saying, let us depart. It says, moreover, at the feast, which is called Pentecost, the priests on entering the inner court of the temple by night, as their custom was in the discharge of their administrations, reported that they were conscious first of a commotion and a din, and after that of a voice of a host saying, we are departing hence. So he makes note of this account where a voice in the temple or a host of voices is said, we are departing, which is similar to what happens in Ezekiel 10, when the glory of the Lord departs the temple, the first temple, before it's destroyed. There's some other cool little connections between the first temple destruction and the second temple destruction, and links with this whole idea of coming on the clouds, which is a type of judgment of God. But also there's a sort of literal application reported by Josephus. So in his book of Jewish Wars, he says, Before sunsetting, chariots and troops of soldiers in their armour were seen running amongst the clouds surrounding the cities. There's another Roman historian called Tacitus who records this as well. Where he says, There had been seen hosts joining battle in the skies, the fiery gleam of arms, the temple illuminated by a sudden radiance from the cloud. Which is really interesting because if we look in 2 Maccabees chapter 5, which is a historic record, the Apocrypha, about the first temple destruction uh, around 175, 164 BC, it recorded that all people over Jerusalem witnessed similar things in the sky. I'll read. It says, about this time, Antiochus made his second invasion of Egypt, and it happened that for almost 40 days there appeared all over the city golden clad cavalry charging through the air in companies fully armed with lances and drawn swords, troops of cavalry drawn up, attacks and counterattacks made on this side and that, brandishing of shields, massing of spears, hurtling of missiles and flash, golden trappings, and armour of all kinds. Therefore everyone prayed that the apparition might prove to have been a good omen. That last little bit is kind of funny in a way because Josephus makes note in another section about all these other signs going on in the temple just before the war thinking it was a good omen and you know spoiler alert it really wasn't just like for the Maccabees.